All right, good morning, fourth graders. Happy Tuesday. Just like that, you've had your Monday, and now it is Tuesday. All right, if you are a fourth grader in Miss Davalos's class, if we are able to come back to school this year to learn, this is going to be your room. Perla might not be there the whole day, but this will be your room. Mr. Brevis, the desks are all stacked, and so are the chairs. We'll get those ready for you if you come. Yes, that is right, because Miss Davalos is teaching from home, and you already know that, but this will be your room, and third graders, if you're watching, then maybe next year this will be your room, depending on when we're able to come back, right? All right, uh, let's see. A birthday announcement, August 25th. Lucas Giles, happy birthday to you, Lucas. And guess what? You are the only Sunny Slope birthday today. You are not sharing it with any other students at Sunny Slope that I know of. You are the only one. Oop. That would be fourth, fifth, and sixth grade recess if you were on campus right now. Yes, we still have the bells going. I've thought about turning them off, but you know what? The bells make me feel like you're still here. And I know you're not, and I get that. But it just makes me feel like, oh, hey, there's the fourth and fifth grade and sixth grade recess. And then in about 12 minutes or 13 minutes, the bell will ring again. I'll be like, oh, they should all be lining up now. I know. Just give me some grace. Help me out. I'm having a hard enough time with this. Uh, so happy birthday to you, Lucas. And today's joke. What do you call a cantaloupe in the pool? What do you call a cantaloupe in a pool? Did you get it? A watermelon. A watermelon cantaloupe in the pool. All right. If you laughed, thank you. If you didn't, give me a mercy laugh. And let's see. Today's fun fact, we've been sticking with weather stuff. Uh, wind. If you've heard about winds going in the areas or the canyons or in the valley or anything along those lines, wind comes from changes in pressure in our atmosphere. There's always wind somewhere on earth. Uh, and even when like right now that looks like there's no wind blowing outside, there's always something. We are surrounded by air like fish are surrounded by water in an aquarium. Uh, I'm not kidding. If you don't believe me, take a, take a sheet of paper, just a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and drop it and watch what it does. You'll see it kind of float. You know what it's floating on? Air. So that's where that comes from. And let's see, no other major announcements. Uh, I sent that announcement home to the parents and to you that uh, you might be doing some slight shifts in your distance learning. Uh, not less learning, just a little less time uh, staring at the screen and a little more uh, independent work, a little more activity, uh, getting up, moving around, and just, uh, you know, not just sitting the whole time. Uh, Mr. Lang, he knows what I'm talking about. Mr. Lang came in second day, third day, kind of like me. It was like, oh, my neck is sore. My back is sore. It's like, yeah, I know. I, I feel you. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's it for this, for Tuesday's announcement. Happy birthday to Lucas. Uh, I hope you learned something about wind and don't throw cantaloupes in pools. Just my advice. All right. Uh, and remember, it is not Popcorn Thursday this week also. It is not Popcorn Thursday, uh, unless you make it at home. And then you can have popcorn on Thursday. But you're on your own to make that. So ladies and gentlemen, have an amazing Tuesday. Do great things. Uh, if I have any other major updates, I will let you know. And uh, one last look, Miss Davalos's class at your room. I want you to remember these words on this beautiful Tuesday that I believe in you that all of your teachers believe in you, and we know that together we can do anything. That's right. Stay awesome. Be amazing. Sunny Slope, have a great day.